A well-run home furnishings business requires accurate inventory. Many furniture businesses, though, are reluctant to take physical inventory. They think it's tedious, time-consuming, and just not fun to do. Furniture Wither provides you the tools to very quickly and efficiently take your physical inventory. If you would like to do your inventory manually, we have a quick sort and edit grid, which allows you to easily enter the inventory numbers in a spreadsheet-like view. We have an optional USB mini scanner that's very powerful. It can hold over a thousand scans. It's portable. You take it wherever you need to go in your showroom or warehouse scan your items and bring it back to the computer. You'll find on the Apple App Store iFurniture Inventory. This is an iPad-based solution for taking a physical inventory. You can either use it manually, but it's much faster and more efficient using it with the optional Bluetooth wireless scanner. There are a couple of steps you need to do before you start taking inventory. The first one is back up your data. You've gone to a lot of trouble to accumulate this information. You need to protect it. We never know what can happen between the start and finish of an inventory, so it's very important to protect the information you have. If you're breaking up your inventory tasks into sections of the store, it may be a good idea to do a backup after you complete it section. You don't want to spend a lot of time doing inventory and then lose all of that work. Back it up and protect it. There are a couple reports that you may want to run before you start doing the inventory. These are the inventory value report. This shows you the quantities that you have item by item. We also have inventory value summary, which is just going to show you the total category by category. Take a look at the reports in Furniture Wizard and you decide which ones work best for your needs. If you're going to be doing your inventory manually, you can make the job easier by using some of our inventory count sheets. To access the count sheets, open up reports, go to the inventory tab, and you'll see several right at the top of the list. Simply put a check or tally mark next to each item as you find them. These values then can be easily entered into Furniture Wizard. If your inventory values are pretty accurate, I suggest you go to Quick Search, go to the inventory tab, and click on the Superman icon. Here you can filter your data. So we may want to go and pick only inventory that's in stock, a minimum of one from our warehouse or showroom. When I print my count sheet, instead of looking at a large list of everything I've ever carried, I'm only looking at the items that should be in stock at this time. Makes it much easier. Now we're going to do a quick practice inventory using the mini scanner. You can see from the quick search screen here, I only have a few records in my inventory. We're going to take our scanner and scan a couple of items. Now I select data exchange, mini scanner, import. Now the computer has read the contents of the scanner and it's showing us our options as to what we can do with this information. We want to select inventory and process it. We have to tell it which location and we're doing the inventory for our warehouse. And here you can see we scan two items with a quantity of one we were expecting one each of these items, so we have no differences. That's good. But we're not done doing our inventory. 
So all we do here now is exit. Let's go scan a couple of more items. Data exchange, mini scanner, import, inventory, select the warehouse, continue. And now the Furnish Wizard is asking you a very important question. Do I want to append to an existing session? My answer in this case is yes. I want to stitch or append together what I scanned before to what I scanned just now. If I say no, it's going to assume anything I scanned previously I'm not interested in and it will delete those records. So we're going to say yes. And now it's showing us that it found an ottoman that we were ex expecting not to be there. So we're over a quantity of one. On the sofa, we were expecting to have two, and it's only found one. Before we update our inventory, if you like, you can print a report of the results. You do that by selecting the Reconcile Report. This report reflects only items that were scanned. If there were items that we did not scan, they are not going to be reflected on this report. To complete our inventory, you select Check All, Update Inventory. It's confirming that everything has been scanned and we say yes. Now, this alert is telling us that there were some items that we thought we had in stock that were never scanned. So we're going to say yes to this message here. And this control gives us an opportunity to see what items that we thought we had at least one in stock that we did not find. So we select the branch. We select the date range that we did the scanning for. We're going to put it on items not reconciled. And here it's showing us that there was a pillow and a throw that we were expecting to have a quantity of one of each, but we never scanned them. It's possible those are lost. They may have been stolen or damaged, but we need to update the inventory to the proper values. So we need to update these values to zero. To do that, it's very simple. You simply go and keep it on items not reconciled here and select zero unscanned records. You have to type yes to confirm that you want to update these items to zero. There is no undo function here. So if you're typing in yes, you better be very certain that this is what you want to do. And now our inventory is complete.